Hi guys, it is me, Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. Today we are doing our Make It Now Monday project, and we are making these really cute little Thanksgiving placeholders. They can either be used for the grown-up table or the kids' table. They have their name on them, a little 3D feather. On the inside it says, I'm thankful for. Now I did change a few things on the original design, and I will share that when we go to the computer. Let's go and do that, and I will share with you what I did. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to Cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here upper left hand corner where it says account, click on that to sign in, then enter in your name and your email, or your email and your password, excuse me. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you are logged in. You want to go to the right where it says all categories, and then scroll down and click on Thanksgiving. On this screen, you want to scroll down until you find the place card. It is called the Feather Place Card. Click on that, it's going to bring up the preview window. Bottom right, go ahead and click on Customize. Right, so now we have the brown piece and a cream piece, and we have our name. I'm going to go ahead and click on the name, double click on that to bring up the text box, and then type in whatever name you want. Okay, we're going to bring this down and put it back on your card how you like it. All right, now this piece, I want to make mine be a card to where you can open it and close it, so I'm going to go ahead and have this piece selected. My top toolbar, click on copy, and then paste. So now I have two of them grab one of them. I'm going to go to my edit panel and you want to look at your position here for the X coordinate. Whatever this X coordinate is, you want to make this one be the same. So in my case, this one is 13.01. Click on that one and change that one to be 13.01 as well. This way they're going to line up left or top and bottom. All right, go ahead and click on one of them. Use the arrow keys to kind of nudge them just where they overlap. I'm going to take your left mouse button across both pieces go to your layer panel and click on weld and that's going to create the card base for us. All right, we can set that piece aside. I want to make a copy of this one. So I'm going to go to my left hand side toolbar, insert shape. I'm going to grab a square, click on this one. The, I'm going to go to my edit panel. The width on that one is 3.61. Change that one to be the same. So I'm going to unlock my lock here. Change this one to be 3.61 in width. The height of that one is 2.74, so change that one as well. This way both pieces will be the same size. I'm going to go to my layer panel, have that piece selected, click on it, change the color to be cream, so now they're both the same color. Now, and sometimes you can take this text and go up here and hit copy and paste, so go have two of them, and then click on that one to edit it like I did here. So you can make this one say, I'm thankful for. If you can't do that, because sometimes you're not able to do that, you can just go in there and add, you know, choose your add text. So I'm going to go in here, I'm thankful for, and then do dot, dot, dot. All right, bring this guy back over. This one, I need to make a lot shorter, so use the arrow keys. And I'm going to kind of put it on an angle like that, maybe turn it a little bit, like that. Okay, now you want to take your left mouse button across the piece with your feather and the name. Go to your layer panel and click on attach. That's going to attach the name to the card and do the same thing here. Go ahead and click on attach. All right, let's go ahead and click on go. So now we have our one piece for our card base and then them two for the inside. Click on go. I'm going to load these up, cut them out, and use a table and put it together. Hey right, guys, we are back. Everything cut out. I took this piece and just folded it directly in half, used my bone folder, and gave it a crease. Now we have these pieces here. I do want to round my corners. I'm using the quarter inch um, We Are Memory Keepers punch. It's double sided. There's a quarter inch and a half inch. And I'm going to do these two pieces as well. Originally that piece was rounded, but I want the inside to match. Okay. So now we have the inside and the outside. I'm going to go and grab my ATG gun. Is the inside piece. Now, like I said, sometimes the fonts in Design Space can be finicky to where you're able to copy them and make them be the exact. If you can't do that, just go ahead and add text and make it be whatever text you want. All right, so we have the inside. Now you have your feather here. Just go ahead and take it and fold them up. You'll see a score mark in the center of those. Okay, and do this side. Alright, now I wanted to add a little bit, you know, a little bit of dimension to my feather. 
So I'm going to take an index card here, and I'm going to ink up my edges. Just kind of get that under the feather. And I have some Stampin' Up! Soft Suede ink here. That's the same color as my cardstock. The cream is actually Cricut cream. All right, I've got that one. Do the same thing over on this side. I'm actually going to light down so that might be easier. I'm just using the index card so I don't get it on my other piece of card. Okay, I just think it gives that piece a little bit more life. All right, I'm going to use a liquid glue. Flip this over. Put it all the way around. Now, how cute would this be either for the kids' table or the adult table, like I said, and then have them write down what they're thankful for this year. They can date it. And then you can pack it away with your decorations the Thanksgiving and fall and then bring it out the following year and they can look back and look you know look and see what they were thankful for the year before really cute so I did one for me and the hubby so like I said this is really cute for the kids table you can knock out a few of them super easy but there you have it my friends today's make it on Monday uh, any questions at all please let me know as always thanks so much for watching have a great day and I will see you guys next time bye bye